one of our great vocalists, one of New Orleans' great, great vocalists, Ms. Jermaine Basil. And we'd like to welcome all of you to WWOZ, and thank you for participating in this, in this effort that we do twice a year. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Jim. Oh, <laughs> 
Ellington's in a melon t mellow tone, and I think um, His Majesty would be quite quite pleased with that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. And may I add, um, uh, Ms. Germain, that the um, solo that we heard there in included not a trombone, but the the human voice. Uh, your 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 version of vocalese. Um, yes, that's the version that's of vocalese. That's what it is. That's right. <laughs> and Yes, ma'am, I know. <laughs> and we want to thank you and let you know how much we appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We also want to welcome you on board to um, our membership drive and uh, let you know how much we appreciate the uh, efforts that you are making to, to participate in that with us. Well, that's something that we have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we have choices and sometimes we have choices, mm -hmm. you know, and we have a choice to come over and support OZ mm -hmm. with this fundraiser. Yes, ma'am. You know. So we'll dig in your pockets, your purses, your bank accounts, and uh, <laughs> drop some money on us. That's right. Call okay. us at one eight seven seven nine zero seven six nine nine nine. 
Makes no difference if it's sweet or hot. Just give that rhythm everything you got. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I 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 Fun for us as well, Miss Basil. Yeah. You are um, uh, foremost among the one of the foremost musicians in, in in our town, and I was wondering if you could say just a few words about how you got into it and wearing the many hats that you wear. Um, what sustains you and allows you to to do all that you've done? You're a composer. You're obviously a vocalist. Uh, you are a, a music educator. And uh, how do you how do you keep the the juices flowing? Mm-hmm. That's a whole lot of questions. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, listen, um, hmm. well, you're right about the education thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I got into it through being a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, graduated, got a call the next day after graduation that I had a job. Went to the job, and uh, was assigned to a class of band people, which I did not expect to have to do. You know, to be a band director, fortunately, there's somebody came along and took over the job and I was able to go back to being a choral director. Um, and I started uh, doing the gigs and as a bass player. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got into this what we're doing now, you know, I taught school in the day and played bass at night. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being that way for a long time and I st stopped teaching for a while and uh, then I got a call from a friend that a school was looking for a music teacher and I went and applied and got that job. Mm -hmm. And so I was working at Xavier Prep, which was right down the street from Tyler's. So I'd work at Xavier Prep in the day and at Tyler's at night. And it has been that way ever since. You know, it's not that I set out to do, to do any of this, mm -hmm. but that's the way the path has been for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, along the way, I have had the uh, good fortune or the good blessings of having some wonderful, wonderful teachers. Mm -hmm. And the teachers are the people that I work with on the bandstand. Mm -hmm. You know, I often think of the bandstand as a classroom because that's where I've been taught. Yes. And I've had the blessing of having what I consider the best musicians this city has to offer mm -hmm. as my instructors. Mm -hmm. So then I'm obligated to represent them in a, in the best way I can, mm -hmm. when we were on the bandstand, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a joy that I, I couldn't buy. I couldn't even plan it because none of this was planned. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Um, so there's the blessing, well. you know, and then to uh, even have the opportunity to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, to help to support OZ and encourage people to support OZ because in, in your own way, I see you as an educational institution. That's right. You know, you teach the people who are listening to you. Mm -hmm. We have all uh, styles of music, all phases of music that are represented on this WWOZ station worldwide, yes. you know, and people need to know that, mm -hmm. you know, so we're not just about the entertainment, but we as are those of you who are the uh, 
jockeys, the disc jockeys, or whatever the title is. Mm -hmm. You know, at that particular time, you are also serving as educators. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I think it's a beautiful thing, and it deserves every penny you can get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, speaking of pennies, uh, <laughs> you, you may. <laughs> and we're wondering if we can um, convince you to, to do one more for us. Yes. Oh, that's so okay, good. guys. We look forward to this.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank David, you. David Tolkanowski, and Roderick Paul and George French and Gerald French and Ms. Jermaine Basil. We appreciate your presence here. Thank you for all that you do for the music and for our city and for WWOZ. Thank you again so much.